Today I'm going to be giving the review of the Cheetah 2. But first, I've got to know. Are you ready? So today has been a little weird. Um, we have this weather coming across and it's, it's going like north to south and sort of drifting our way from the west. And it's just to the west of us and it's this uh, line of rain, heavy rain, but it's, it's like it's just skirting us. I mean, just barely has been touching us today. We've already gone to work and came back didn't really have time to record anything because we had to get done with it before it does rain. If it does rain. They don't know. You know. Weathermen are, uh, and women are, uh, you know, they don't always know. Uh, well, they don't know a lot of times, let's just say. Because um, it's hard. It's hard to predict the weather. It's unpredictable. <laughs> but anyway yeah it's just skirting us so today it was just there's was, there was some light rain sprinkles and uh things like that but we got done and now <laughs> let's forget all that it's in the past <laughs> you know it's over with we got done and uh but now i want to talk to you about the cheetah 2 the skag cheetah 2 uh, I wanted to give it a little while, you know, um, before I did a review of it because I wanted to use it, you know. I didn't want to just uh, roll it off the showroom floor and then say, okay, here it is. <laughs> I wanted to know a little about it. So now I've used it for a while. It's uh, got 24, 24 hours on it. And... Uh, Let's talk about it a little bit. You know, it's got a, I'll give you the, the basics. It's got a, the EFI, which I've never had on a mower. So we'll see how that, that plays out. But it's got the FX1000V, 38.5 horsepower. And it uses every one of those horses. I'm just telling you, it's fast. We'll get to that in a minute. But uh, of course it's got the Tiger Eye which is very good because you can tell what's going on with the mower when you need to change the oil, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what else? You know, it's got this uh, suspension on it that's kind of weird. You know, it's not, the seat's not like this suspension. It's like this type thing and uh, what I've noticed about it is that it's got the soft ride and the firm ride adjustments and everything in between. Uh, I haven't noticed, you know, a lot of difference. You could put it on firm and it's still soft ride. But uh, I think it's just a, you know, there's a little variation there. I don't know why you would want to put it on a firm ride. So I just leave it on soft ride all the time. Um, it's got lights on it, which, you know, I'll probably never use. Uh, in the past, I used to, uh, there was times many years ago in the past, we'd be working out till dark and it would have been nice to have those. And it may happen again, you know, you never know. But I don't see me using the lights a lot. Um, 61, it's a 61 inch. Uh, I think some people would want more of these if they had if they made a 52. I don't know why they don't make a 52 in the Cheetah 2, <clears throat> but they don't um, for whatever reason. What else? What else are the kind of basics? Here's your controls. It's just got fast and slow. Of course, it doesn't have a choke because it's the EFI. It's got um, on and off switch for the lights. 
lights they don't come on unless the motor is running mower is running which is good because that would suck to accidentally hit them leave them on kill your battery uh, so i suppose that's why they do that uh it's got a comfortable seat i like it um what can i say looks nice feels nice you adjust it here the height push down on this with your foot and then just pop your uh pan in there so i think that's got all the uh, kind of basic basic information about it out of the way uh i can say beyond the shadow of a doubt that the cheetah 2 this cheetah 2 is the fastest mower i've ever been on and that includes test test driving them at the gie all the different brands and everything and before i bought this i'd never i'd never been on a cheetah 2 i didn't expect it to be like uh some kind of super fast um super fast mower i knew it'd be fast but i mean it lives up to the name cheetah 2 definitely because it is fast oh yeah forgot this is a basic thing you have the high speed here and you have low you don't mow in high okay when you're in high on here it's fast and in, in the uh low speed low speed it's fast it's fast freaking mower still the fastest but when you put it in high it's a whole different ball of wax is all i'm saying um i tried to tell people like uh shane dlt which he hadn't he hadn't seen it of course or ridden on it because he doesn't live here but uh got king brando on it the other day and said try it out you know and i said put it in fat uh high there and go tear off down the road and his eyes were like saucers um and he said at the end he was like he was telling me it was fast and you and i was like yeah, yeah okay it's fast and he was like no this thing is the fastest mower i've ever been on and it is it's it's it wasn't what i bought it for but it's fast and where it shines where it does shine is when you get it on fields and big stuff uh even in the low where you're supposed to mow you're not supposed to mow with it on high uh like i said but um even with that you know you're tearing tearing out through there and uh the 61 makes it even more more better <laughs> at uh you know just getting some stuff done but also where it shines is if i don't know how many of you do this but i know some of you do you work in a, a neighborhood, you know, where you uh, go from house to house to house. And sometimes you just, instead of taking the truck, you just go down the road. That's what I do. JR follows me on the, you know, he'll be weed eating behind me. He'll follow along as it, as it gets done. And I just drive down the road as I go down that whole neighborhood from front to back. And uh, it is awesome for that because... You can pop it in this high and it's like you're freaking tearing out down the road on a dune buggy or something i mean it, it's like it's fast you know you're just i wish i could wish i could convey to you people out there how fast it is but you just trust me if you're looking for a fast freaking mower the fastest i dare say on the market it would be your cheetah too that's my opinion and i'm sticking to it um like i said i didn't buy it for that and never been on one before it was just a pleasant surprise you know when i got out and it was just like i was like they come this thing is stupid fast so yeah uh it's a uh, so far great mower man i really am digging it uh like how it has the trap door here 
to get to that. Where I know some skag mowers uh, don't have that now. Uh, love that. That was smart of them to do. Um, I know on the V-Ride, which I still have, I use both of them, I switch them out, depends on which days I'm doing what, really. Um, because there's some stuff that's the the drawback of a 61 inch you know you're gonna have like a lot of stuff you can't you know get behind or in or fences you know you can't get in that you can get a 52 in um but in those cases you know like i even have a fence when i use that if i have a fence i'll just pull that 32 off and and uh or 36 sorry 36 inch mower off and uh and i will uh do that yard and then tear it up with that one the rest of the time uh there's the v-ride so now i'm going to compare the stand on with the set down they they have advantages and disadvantages the stand on the obvious advantages are you know if you have to stop and pick up something or whatever get on and off the mower that mower is much better you know because you're just standing on it you just hop off get it hop back on easy another advantage i think that I don't hear a lot of people talk about uh, to the stand on mower is for me here where I live, you know, I'm not sure how it is where you are, but where I live, you know, it'll get dry and uh, there'll be a lot of stuff in the air, you know, when you're mowing. And no matter what glasses you wear, in fact, I'll talk about that in a minute too. No matter what glasses you wear, it, it gets behind your glasses even when you're wearing the the great toro glasses uh when you're on the mower uh when you're on this mower setting down on the v-ride when i'm standing up it just i guess it just hits me more here you know it doesn't hit me in the eyes so i don't have as much problem but i did notice going back to a set on that i get stuff in my eyes you know no matter how hard i try not to and and i have to really squint my eyes when i'm making turns and stuff because the stuff will just blow right right up into my face um so what i was going to say is i bought some goggles <clears throat> to keep a chemical spray out of your out of your eyes i bought some goggles and i'm going to try those out in a future video and see how they i should have taken them today because I used this today, but I forgot. But, uh, <clears throat> and it was kind of wet, so it didn't really matter. So, hopefully that'll help with that. You know, where I can just keep my eyes open. And I won't have all that crap getting in my eyes. So, that's the disadvantage. One of the disadvantages of this is that it does... Stuff comes up and hits me right in the face. As opposed to more hit me in the chest on the other one um an advantage of a set on is you can float the deck meaning you can have your foot on that on this right here and if you're going over something a hump or something like that you can float it with your foot and raise it up just a little bit as you go over it you know where you you can't do that on the easily i guess you if you're talented enough you can uh grab that handle and, <laughs> and do it somehow but you know i wouldn't want to be going over a hump and grabbing the handle and having one hand on it but some people might do that i'm not even sure if that's possible come to think of it because that's heavy and you know it's like a you got to work at it to pull it up <clears throat> um so you can't really practically float the deck on the v-rod 
which is a disadvantage. Um, I really miss, I really miss um, the twills when I'm using this one because I worry about getting a hole in these tires. Uh, so maybe, <clears throat> maybe if they make them for this, I'm guessing they do. If they make them for this, I may get a set of them. But yeah, so I guess that pretty much covers it. I just wanted to let you, you know that this is a, so far, a, just a excellent mower cuts great. The cut on it is awesome. I don't know if it's because, I mean, it cuts better than the V-Ride, uh, I guess because it's just got more power, hence put more power to the blades maybe. Um, cuts a little better not that the v-ride cuts bad but um cuts really great um it seems to use it seems to i don't know if this is just a perception that i'm having of it but it seems like it goes through gas pretty quick so that could be a down side you know we'll see <clears throat> not really sure i feel like one of these tanks it's got two tanks on it and i feel like one maybe is even though they look the same that one's got controls in it so i'm assuming this one just holds more so seems like that one runs out more than quicker than this one but you can go through some gas with it so I don't know if that's a thing or not. I mean, it's not anything stupid, but it does seem like it goes through gas a little quicker than the V-Rod, and it's heavier, you know, so maybe that's it. Um, so yeah, I would suggest if you were uh, looking for a ride-on mower, in conclusion, finally, um, I would suggest you take a look at the Skag Cheetah 2. Especially, especially if you're wanting a mower that is super speedy and fast. <laughs> so there, I guess that's all I gotta say about it right now. We'll talk more about it later, probably in a future video, if I can think of anything else to say about it. But yeah, the Cheetah 2, go get you one. They're super ultra deluxe. Have a good one, guys. Be safe out there. Drink your fluids and uh, take your vitamins and all that jazz. Until next time, I'll check you later. See you on the next one. Boo!